It has been two years, but the NCAA tournament finally upon us. We get the first four today, round one kicking off tomorrow. And the Gonzaga Bulldogs have a chance to make history. They are the first team heading into the tournament undefeated since Kentucky back in 2015. But nobody has entered the tournament undefeated and won the whole thing since Indiana in 1976. That is 45 years ago. So taking a look at the odds to win the 2021 NCAA tournament, Gonzaga sitting pretty there at the top at plus 200. Someone who knows very well the highs and the lows of the NCAA tournament, former Gonzaga player, two-time NBA champ, Adam Morrison. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. So I got to say your Gonzaga Bulldogs, the first team since 2015 to head into the tournament undefeated. I got to ask you, do they have what it takes to make it all the way? Uh, I think so. You know, they've had a, obviously a fantastic season this year. Um, undefeated, like you mentioned, number one in the nation scoring. Um, offensively, they're, uh, you know, a, a juggernaut. They share the basketball third in the nation in assists. So I think they have a good chance. I know you've been calling some of these games. Obviously, you're familiar with the tournament. Um, this tournament is very different. It has limited fans. They're in the bubble. That might be hard for a college kid. So whether it's on the court or off, what do you think over the next couple of weeks will be the different maker for, difference maker for the Zags? I think, um, you know, where they struggle a little bit or that potential to, you know, have issues is in the front court depth. Drew Timmy's been fantastic this year. Um, he's at about 20 and 10 per game. Uh, I think he was second team All-American. So if they can keep him out, out of foul trouble, um, you know, they'll have be successful. But I, as far as the pandemic stuff goes in the bubble, our guys have played through that. Obviously, the whole season have been um, terrific handling that. So I don't think that would be an issue. Biggest thing for me is you know, continued good guard play. Kispert's been fantastic. Obviously, Jalen Suggs as well. But can they stay out of foul trouble in the front court? That's the biggest thing for for me, uh, being an analyst and calling the games uh, going forward in the tournament. Adam, we have a, a decent amount of our analysts picking Gonzaga to win it all. Some others are going with Iowa, Alabama, Illinois. Is there another team uh, that you're keeping an eye on? You know, obviously Baylor, you know, that game got canceled against us. They, you know, obviously had a fantastic season themselves. I do like Alabama in the East as well as a two seed, to, you know, upset Michigan as the number one seed in that in that region. Um, but I think Baylor and Gonzaga would be a fantastic final. That game was supposed to happen, obviously got canceled earlier in the season. So it'll be interesting to see how they, uh, you know, how the obviously the bracket works out. But I you know, Homer Wise want to see that game happen since we had a cancel earlier. But I think those are the two best teams in this field this year. You know, this time last year, the teams, the players, the coaches, everybody was devastated. This tournament had been canceled. You were lucky enough to play in the tournament. Uh, you had a great showing there during your college career. And then you went on to play in the NBA. That's what most of these kids want to do. But, but I'm curious, with not having the tournament last year, finally getting to have it, for you being able to play in it out of your entire basketball career, where does that rank for you? Um, it's definitely uh, high up. You know, you make a lot of memories, obviously, good and bad um, in the tournament. You know, that's where you, you know, become legendary or whatever. And that's how, you know, teams are remembered if uh, tournament runs and, and programs are built on tournament runs, uh, just like Gonzaga did in 1999. So, you know, being able to play in that obviously was <clears throat> something, um, you know, that I cherish. And it was, it was really frustrating last year. And obviously it was the right thing to do health wise, but we were 30 and two last year and that team was, uh, uh, I think one of the top six to have a chance to win it. Um, so for me, um, those memories are <clears throat> something that I cherish as an athlete, but hopefully, you know, we can make it through this without any COVID, <clears throat> excuse me, COVID-19 restrictions. And I say that for the whole field, but uh, bravo to the NCAA for figuring this thing out so far and getting a, these guys into a bubble. I think it was the right thing to do and uh, giving these kids an opportunity to, uh, you know, go out there and compete and try to win a national championship. The bracket is set. We're crossing our fingers, same as you, that we get through this. Yeah. We're just happy to have it. Um, yeah, I, absolutely. 
Sorry. Oh, no, no, you're fine. So, so I want to ask you, you know, your college career, we saw the video there. It, it was so significant to you, but more and more we're seeing players forego their college experience to play in the G League, some mm -hmm. of them going overseas. I, I'm curious what you think about that, and if you were playing right now, is that something you would consider? I, I, I personally think it should be a zero, and two, a zero or two rule. I think the one and done is kind of um, eliminated it turns college basketball a little bit into a farm system, um, you know, because if you think about it as a student athlete, you only have to go for one semester um, to stay eligible if you're going to do the one. So I think it's to be zero and two or two. Um, so if a guy's good enough um, to forego, I think he should have the opportunity um, just to go to straight uh, straight into, um, you know, the NBA. He doesn't. I think two years would serve the university better. It would, it would implore the student athlete feel um, to it and it would make it less as a farm system. And I think it's better for the guys to get the coaching, the experience, and you know, it would help the NBA kind of weed out um, you know, guys that maybe shouldn't leave as early or, or things of that nature because obviously they're gonna play two full seasons. Um, I, I have no problem with the guys going out early I just think one kind of hurts it. Like I said, it just turns into a farm system and it makes it tough for fans to really understand who's in the program, who's leaving. It, it makes it hard for them to uh, kind of grasp and, and follow a team because there's so much turnover. So it's always an interesting debate because I really feel like if you're good enough and financially that can help your family, I have no problem with a guy doing that. But if you're going to go to college, I think it should be two years. Adam Morrison, you have teamed up with FanDuel, um, and there is a chance for a fan to win $1 million. We're going to get to that in a second because I'm interested in that. But but yeah, I'm curious, absolutely. gambling has become such a big part of sports. It, it's a big focus for us here on HQ. So why team up with FanDuel? Is that something you're passionate about? Um, yeah, I mean, they, uh, they contacted me to do a commercial spot that's going to air during the tournament and uh you know, I was obviously like yeah sure it sounds fun and it was a good time doing it um and then like you mentioned the um the contest is you place a bet during the uh tournament you get entered into a one million dollar uh, sweepstakes so you, you know you might as well put your name in the hat and uh let it rip you know and for me Gambling has always been there, so you might as well make it uh, uh, legal, which it has in, I think, 15 of the 50 states, and it it's going to continue to, uh, you know, grow with that Supreme Court ruling. So I think, um, for me, um, you know, having just an opportunity, even placing like a $5 bet on a game, you might as well <laughs> uh, do it with FanDuel because you get a chance to win a million dollars. So I think it's the right thing to do for society. Uh, we can go into the political aspect of it, but uh, people are going to do it anyway. Might as well do it legally and uh, tax it and uh, do it the right way. All right. So for fans watching this, you mentioned that they can enter for a chance to win a million bucks. That'd be pretty yep. nice to anybody. Uh, give me the specifics again, how people can do that. If you place a bet during the tournament uh, on FanDuel, um, you are automatically entered into the um, you know million dollar sweepstakes. So it's as simple as uh, betting on a game. Uh, it doesn't have to be the spread or anything like that. It can be as simple as a five dollar, ten dollar bet. And once you uh, you know um, place the bet, you're automatically entered. So I think it's one entry per day. Um, so you might as well, like I said, throw your name in the hat and see if you can win million bucks uh, while you're doing it. Really quickly, do you have your final four set? Have you filled out your bracket? Who do you got? Yeah, I got Gonzaga um, in the West, Illinois, and Alabama, like I mentioned earlier, then I like Baylor. So I went mostly chalk, um, but I think Alabama uh, is playing better than Michigan right now. But, you know, the beauty of the tournament, anything can happen. Everybody knows that. And it, a lot of it uh, depends on draws. And then, you know, knock on wood, hopefully we don't have any COVID-19 stuff, but that's all obviously a factor. Um, so, you know, we'll see. But uh, it's Gonzaga, Illinois, Alabama, and Baylor for me. All right, Adam Morrison, thank you so much for joining us here on HQ. Good luck to your Zags. Uh, they can make some history absolutely in this tournament. Thanks again. Thank you. All right, and if you want to fill out your bracket, you heard his final four there, make sure to go to cbssports.com forward slash bracket.
Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.